I don't know that there has ever been a better time to join um, than right now. Okay. Then right now, like $49 for a business kit, you get the wraps, you get a sample of greens, energy, and uh, can you hear my lisp? It's awesome. It just switched my trays. <laughs> greens, energy, and why am I blanking on the last thing? There's, oh, keto coffee. How could I forget that? The thing we've been selling on host of post like crazy. Um, so fun to get to offer that to anybody and everybody who wants to do it. Plus, it's half off, and so you're getting like over $130 worth of product for anybody who joins. So, y'all, be excited, be pumped, um, keep sharing your story, and it is going to go far. So, this business, we are in the right place at the right time. Plus, the promotions, right? Y'all, who's going? I keep saying y'all because I'm so excited. Who's going for that ruby bonus, that emerald bonus? You just joined in 2018. They just keep extending that. I mean, it is so exciting. Then there's the diamond bonus. Um, all that good stuff going on. And so, yes, double diamond, Julie. You, I know you're going to get it this month. That's so exciting. Um, so I am pumped for this team. I know that we are changing the graph and going to continue to change the graph this month. And so, um, and what is going to help us along the way is um you know getting to hear from people who are doing it and leading just a great example and so we have exciting news Bess, congratulations on being diamond empire's newest diamond that is awesome that is awesome and so we're gonna hear enough of me just being excited and not really saying anything and get into um what a little bit of your story. Let me unmute you here. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you like over the moon right now? I'm like still kind of in shock. Like, <laughs> it's like so exciting that this happened. So yeah, yeah, it's so exciting. Yes. Well, you deserve it, girl. Thank you. Um, tell us, so tell us a little bit of your story. Like, how did you get into the business and then where you are today? Well, um, I have been a stay at home mom for the past almost six years. Um, and through being a stay at home mom, that's how I actually met Sherry Lynn. Um, our kids did soccer together. We have a lot of mutual friends. So through the kids, we, we connected and I was actually at a, um, party. I won't, I won't say the name of the company, but I was at a party and I went up to Sherilyn and I said, I really want to try the hair, skin and nails from you because I've been watching you. And she goes, no, you really need to become a distributor. And I was like, no, mm -mm, no. And I went home and I was like, huh. And it was one of those thoughts I couldn't get out of my head. And I was like, that's interesting. And so I, you know, looked at all the information, showed my husband all the information, and both of us were like, okay, this, this is actually interesting, okay. Um, and I gave myself a year. I said, Bess, you're gonna do this for one year. And if it fizzled out, fizzles out, then like, so be it, you tried. But um, I made diamonds my year anniversary. So it's like a year, let's keep going. Let's see where we can go from here. Yay, I love that. One year, pretty much like to date almost, you're like, yeah, diamond. it worked. And you know what, that is what Sherry, I feel like Sherry and I have learned from the beginning. Anybody who really gives this business a year will be at a different place. Now, when we say a year, I'm not saying like, oh, I signed up, I posted a couple times, I messaged my five friends who all told me no, and then, um, I maybe bought some product here and there and a year came up and it didn't work for me. That is not, <laughs> that's not necessarily what we're talking about, but like really giving it a year and going for it. And I love already what you said. Um, I wanted to do the hair, skin and nails. And she was like, Oh no, you need to be a distributor. And you told her no. Mm -hmm. But yeah. in that, no, your mind started thinking. Literally I got in my car and drove home and on the drive home, I was like, huh, like, it was like one of those thoughts where I just never even thought about that. And so, yeah, it definitely, like, put a thought in my mind I would have never even thought of. And 
I'm so glad she did. <laughs> yeah. And I love that. And let us hear that because when we're out there and we're getting no's, you don't know what that no is going to turn into because you, like you said, you would have never thought about it. I feel the same way. I don't think I really would have ever thought about doing something like this had I not been asked. And so um, remember, that's part of the reason why um, we do what we do. So how in the last little bit have you kind of gone to Diamond? Well, um, the biggest thing I have to say is host to post. Um, I was really anxious about asking people, to be completely honest. I really thought that a lot of people would just say no. And so instead of asking, I just, I just didn't. And then I finally bit the bullet and I went down my entire loyal customer list and I asked every single one of them to do a post. And the majority of them were like, yeah, of course I'll do it. Like, why wouldn't I? I use the stuff, of course. And so that has made it like blow up within the past like month or so. And just, I've really been trying to be consistent with posting and showing people that I'm actually using the products as well. That's been really helpful. Yeah. I love that. Using the products. So then you're becoming a product of the product, which we say over and over again, <laughs> you know, if the product's not really changing your life, the business probably won't either. So mm -hmm. if you're not using the product, and again, this is another plug. If you did not watch Joel and Stephanie Dunn last month, it was either the end of August or their tips from the top of theirs. Like the best way you're going to change your business is you're going to buy the product. When you get the product, you're going to open the product and then you're actually going to use the product and you're going to fall in love with the product because you're using the product and other people are going to want the product. And that is how your business is going to change. And so, yes, you're posting about it because you're enjoying it. It's you feel good on it. You know, like I'm like, man, I could post about the greens every day, all day because they've changed my life. And so I love that. Um, host to post. I love that you started with your loyal customers. Mm -hmm. um, what, that is a great place. If you have not done that, y'all, plug into those loyal customers because they are using the product. So I know with me, I've been doing, I've done my loyal customers. Now I'm doing my host to post with, you know, just going through my friends list. Mm -hmm. um, and some of them are like, hey, so-and-so has asked me if I've tried it. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I'm like, well, do you want to try it? Do you want to become a customer? But I love the idea that those customers already have experience. And then, I mean, that could even lead to, hey, you're posting about it. People are interested. Do you want to join the business? You know, I would say some of my loyal customers have become some of my best distributors in the business. So posting, using the products and post a post is what's been awesome for you. Yeah, that has just made a huge difference. And it's just been amazing how many people are willing to support. And even if they aren't able to, you know, buy the product, people have been really, really willing and, you know, and able to do it. So it's been really nice to get the support of the host posts. Yeah, I agree. I, I, it's super surprising. Now within the business, um, what would be some of the things you feel like, well, because of this business, you know, because of it works? Um, well, I mean, I was a stay-at-home mom for the past, you know, five, almost six years. So this business has really given me something for me. Um, I feel like I was really stuck in being mom and wife and, you know, keeping the house and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I kind of got lost on focusing on me and and making sure that I was okay and with it works I kind of have that separate little thing to focus on and it's given me a lot of money that's my fun money and it's money that I can you know spend on myself I can spoil my husband and I'm not spoiling him with his own money you know it's nice to be able to buy presents for my family with my money um, and my money that's like a big thing for me I was working since I was 15. And so to stop working and become a stay at home mom and not have that income anymore was a bit of a shock for me. So, um, it's been really nice and, and empowering to be honest. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And okay. So before host of post was happening, you were, you were a pretty good loyal customer signer. I know what were you doing before that? Um, really I, I message uh, like, all of my friends, every single person that likes, comments, um, 
anyone that really looks at my Insta stories, I do a lot of Instagram stories um, with polls in them. So it's just really just continuing to message and um, kind of just get the ask out there. Because I think a lot of people maybe wouldn't necessarily come to me and I go to them and they're like, yeah, of course, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. I love that. Don't be afraid to ask. Okay. So if you were to go, um, what are my non-negotiables that I'm doing for this business? What have I done that has helped me get here? Cause it's take, I mean, it's taken a year and sometimes people might get frustrated. You, you know, uh, we have Natalie on here. You guys start at the same time. She went to Diamond a little quicker than you did. And so you could kind of see something like that happening. But how did you stay focused um, to keep working? And then what are the things you're doing? Well, I, I definitely feel like with this business, it goes in waves and you get what you put into it. And I've realized that in the past couple months. Um, really, I think that... Um, it took me a while, but I've realized every single night before I go to bed, like half hour to an hour, I'm messaging, I'm expanding my um, social network, I'm doing the cleaner, I'm making sure that all the people that, you know, I'm not really getting any interaction with, I'm just unfollowing. Um, but that's been a non-negotiable. I make sure every single night before bed, I'm doing something with it works half hour to an hour. Um, I'm definitely making that a constant and that's been a big game changer for me. I love it. I love it. Now, how long were you Emerald before going diamond? Um, just a couple months. Um, I was Emerald and then I actually fell back to Ruby mm -hmm. and I was really discouraged. It was one of those months where I was getting no's, I was getting ghosted. You know, it was like, I'd get up to the point where, yeah, I definitely want it. And then they'd disappear. I'd be like, what is going on? Um, so I got really frustrated, but um, it's one of those things where I got frustrated and then I got motivated. So I'm like, you did this, you know, you can get yourself back up there. So that was a big thing. I feel like I can sometimes be my own worst enemy. So I need to just take that frustration and just work harder. Yeah. How did you, how did you get motivated? Um, well, definitely seeing the other promotions and, um, I mean, honestly, just knowing that I could do it and knowing like I didn't post a lot. I really didn't message. I really wasn't interacting with a lot of my team members that month when I fell back, you know? So it's like all of those put together, it, it, you get what you put into it and I just wasn't putting it into it. So I, I knew that it was something that if I don't work hard at it, I wasn't going to get where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And so, but yeah. I love, but what I love is you can have a rough month and go, mm -hmm. okay, I need to turn this around and you have the ability to turn it around. So I love mm -hmm. that you're even sharing that tonight and on this first one, because people who maybe went September did not go how I wanted it to go or August and her have not been going how I wanted to go. You have the opportunity now to go, okay. You know, I can sit in that funk or I can turn it around, get motivated and know if I put in the work, you know, even like you said, you're like half hour to an hour before I go to bed, I'm working the business and that's when you're doing it and it comes back to you. And so I love that. Um, okay. So you're saying you message, you post, you grow your market, you do your cleaner. So you're getting people, you know, so you're not growing lopsided in mm -hmm. your business. Um, what tips do you have for somebody who's saying, I want to get there? You know, maybe they've been sitting at Ruby for a year. You know, that happens. Um, Ruby to Emerald can be a hard jump sometimes, you know? It's really hard. Um, I think another thing that helped, and this was, I think we did this last month, um, but we did a giveaway for some of our team members where every loyal customer they signed or a DT, they got to flip a post-it note with a product on it. And I feel like that really motivated the team. Like if you're not working with the team, like it's just not going to work out. Like everyone has to be on the same page. Everyone has to keep the momentum going. Um, because we did have a couple people, you know, that, you know, stopped responding and, you know, do that. So it's, we, the communication between the team, I think is like 
the biggest thing. And, and it's so nice to motivate each other because you might be having a rough day and getting three or four no's in a row. And, you know, and just knowing that the team members are there and everyone's supporting each other, like that's been a really big deal past yeah. couple months. I agree. Plugging in is huge. So if you're kind of like, man, I don't know where my team is and it feels rough. Like if you're on here thinking, you know, this isn't, this isn't so fun right now. Cause I feel on my own reach up. That's so important. So everybody that's on here, you know, for sure, Sherry's up there somewhere. She hasn't quit on you. Um, so not everybody has quit on you if they're up or down or below, but you want to be plugged in and, and it's great to be accountable. I a hundred percent agree. Like, you know, when I have my accountability person go, okay, I messaged today. I was like, dang it. You know, like I'm not, I'm like, yeah, I messaged 10. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, I got to message more, you know? So, um, having that there and then showing your team that they can do it. You know, that is a big thing. And just having that belief and uh, in yourself and then in the people on your team with you, I think that's super fun and super supportive to you. Well, I have to say too, and this is a shout out to two of my girls on my team. I have on one side hope and I have another side faith. Mm -hmm. So I've got hope and faith on my team. And I just feel like, you know, I feel like that's meant to be, you know, got a little hope, got a little faith. It's going to be great. So I feel like it's, it's, you know, it's fun to have a good team that is there for each other. Absolutely. I love that hope and faith. And then you just put a little, mix a little joy in there and you're ready to go all the way to the top. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but I know that they're awesome too, and they're rocking it, and they had an mm -hmm. incredible month. Both right. of them got, a uh, Hope got uh, to Ruby this month, mm -hmm. and Faith got to Emerald this month, so it's super exciting. We're all on the way up. Yep, I love that, and I know this month will only continue to be better, and so thank you so much for sharing with us and telling us a part of your journey. And we know that this is just a part of it. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning for all of us. Yes. And again, I just love that in person kind of, I think sometimes we can get so much like this, like mm -hmm. your shirt, you know, we can get so much like this that we forget to go, Hey, this person beside me would be awesome at this business too. And so that's kind of your story. So don't forget the people you're around um, sitting at soccer with all those people right there. And um, there's not many who wouldn't think uh, could, I could use an extra $500, especially in this season. And then um, especially with the bonuses we're already offer. So I'm excited for you, Bess. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, one question. Which host to post were you doing? Okay, well, I've done a couple because um, I feel like it kind of depends on who I'm talking to. Um, I've done a trio, really, that I work with the Keto Coffee, the, the Danielle Boyle Host to Post Coffee, Keto Coffee one is awesome. Um, and then I do a Hair, Skin, and Nails and the Cleanse one, kind of depending on who I'm talking with. Um, those three have been the most successful that I've been doing. Okay, awesome. Um, tonight when this is over and we'll post, um, will you put your uh, hair, skin, and nails and your cleanse one in there? That was Definitely. Good. Okay, thank you so much, Bess. Congratulations. Okay. Ready for everything this month. All right. Can't hear you. Mm -mm. <laughs> I muted myself. <laughs> oh. oh, what happened to my computer? I'm rocking this thing, y'all. <laughs> Watch out! Watch out, October! I'm coming for you. Um, <laughs> hey, okay. Well, just like Bess, you've pretty much been in this business now for a year, mm -hmm. which is super exciting. You just decided to go for it. Tell, share a little bit, just. A little bit of your story and I've got to share it before but just um well my husband and I are in ministry and on staff at our church and um I've always been a part of you know the day-to-day -day business of the church and going into the office and um you know got paid a little something um extra but you know not anything ever significant and um 
you know, we just lived paycheck to paycheck and that was just how life was. And I thought that's kind of how it was always going to be because I didn't want to go back to work. We have three little boys. And, um, so I met Stacy by purely by divine appointment, I believe. And she introduced me to the business. I told her no. Um, but I was still stalking her page for six months or so. And then I saw she invited me to a Facebook event and just scrolling through the Facebook event. It just really got my attention. I think I messaged her that night and said, how are you making so much money? What is this? <laughs> and I uh, signed up maybe two days later. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. The Lord crossed our paths. I don't even, if we had more time, we would tell you all how it happened, but it was just a God moment. And yes, everybody's talking about your skin. And I was thinking here, I am so jealous of her skin right now. <laughs> really? Really good. Um, I'm in my son's room, so it must be the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you totally cross our paths. Natalie, it was at church. She is, her husband's a pastor, so they don't really get to Sundays anywhere else, but just happened to be in Dallas and how it turned out they got to come to our church. and. Um, I sat after a service for some crazy reason, which would only be the Lord. And um, in an empty sanctuary, we met at our church. And uh, that's kind of how our paths cross. So that's why I always pray that the Lord bring people um, into your business and my business personally, that we wouldn't be shy about what an incredible um, opportunity this is. And so Natalie, though, she was like, I can sell anything to anybody. So she started off with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome to have. Um, so you started in, I know it was August, the very end of August. Um, yeah. And you had stuff to work through. And so that's something that I want to kind of hit on with everybody because this is a time of the year that um, this is our time to go. If you think you're going to wait, November is only going to get busier, December is only going to get busier. So you want to go now. But Natalie really taught me um, you can have – excuses like um we've shared before on here or you can have a business um and so really literally natalie's from the houston area and i think one week after you signed mm -hmm. the hurricane hit um yeah here. and um you know i had people going i'm in houston i can't do anything and then i had natalie going sign the little customer sign <laughs> sign and i'm like and then i was talking to her on the phone and she's like Oh yeah, my brother's kids are living with us now while they're starting school and you had like three extra I don't know how many extra kids you had in your house. I had four extra kids and I'm plus my own three in a normal little house. It was uh, it's all a blur. I don't even remember much of last fall. <laughs> and you promoted to, you double promoted. So that's what I want to tell you. If you have joined, mm -hmm. y'all, if you've joined this year and that Ruby bonus is there, Natalie joined the end of August and by the end of September, double promoted her way to Ruby and got that bonus. Mm -hmm. So you can do it. And in the midst of that, that was Hurricane Harvey and, and your whole family living in yeah. chaos everywhere, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so how did you, can you remember what you did in those moments for anybody who just kind of starting and wanting to go after that Ruby bonus? Yeah, I just, I believed that it was possible. Number one. Um, I didn't doubt whenever Stacy told me that uh, you can totally do this and they'll pay you a lot of money if you, if you do do it and people do it all the time. So you can do it too. And so I thought, well, I mean, why can't I do it? And so I don't know. I, I never doubted that it would be possible. And it's like, whenever you don't give yourself the alternative um, or allow yourself to think, well, maybe, maybe I can't, maybe it's not really doable. Um, you don't allow those thoughts in your head. And just know that there are people doing it all day long. And, uh, you know, there's no reason that you can't. Yeah. So I just put my head down and I don't know, just started messaging anybody and everybody I knew. Yeah. And you really stayed with your warm market up front mm -hmm. for that first little bit. So no's, yes is all of it. You kind of, oh, yeah. you, you ask them all. 
Um, yeah, I had a pretty big warm market. And so that's kind of what I tackled first. And as uncomfortable as it was, you know, everybody talks about how, you know, you hate to, I don't want to mess with my warm market. I don't want to make my friends feel uncomfortable. And, um, it was, and it's, to, it was totally out of my comfort zone. I, you know, not anything that I have ever done in the past. And I always even kind of looked down on direct sales and, you know, just kind of had that. I didn't know anything about it really. That's really the bottom line. I didn't really know about it. And, um, just had a, a false impression and, um, realized quickly that this is a, a legitimate, really good business that, um, can really change your life. And I started seeing that it could change your life. And so um, I just got that fire and wanted to tell all my friends. And I was telling my friends, no, for real, like you really need to get on my team because this is, I'm, I'm going to be ambassador. So I want you to go with me. And if, you know, if you don't, then I, I'm, I'm going to just leave you here, <laughs> but I'm going to the top and I would love for you to do it with me. And yeah. So most, a lot of my friends were like, well, okay. <laughs> I, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but whenever you just claim it and say, no, I, I am going to be ambassador and I will be making 30,000 a month. And uh, I'd love for you to do it with me. Yeah. I don't know. Speak with confidence, I guess. Yeah, it's belief. And I remember that. I, I shared this in uh, a training I was at, but I remember being on, when I first went presidential, I was on a group with presidentials and a girl was like, you know, my um, closing was one in 10 and then it went to seven in 10. And I was like, what changed? And she's like, my confidence. And I'm like, in your messaging? Like, because she was only messaging people. I'm like, in your texts? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? She's like, yeah, it was just, I believed it. I knew it was going to happen and it changed everything. And so, mm -hmm. um, that excitement and that belief will take you such a long mm -hmm. way, which is exciting. And so you, you went Ruby that you double promoted to Ruby and then you went through October and then November you went. I, yeah. yeah. I, I think I double promoted in November when Emerald like mid month and then diamond by the end of the month. Yeah. In November. I, well, that was my, that was my deadline for that, the go fast bonus that I was working towards. So yeah, the go fast $10,000 diamond bonus. Right. And then April came along and you're in, like you said, in the ministry and uh, for mm -hmm. everybody who knows April this year, I remember it very well because the last day of April was Easter weekend. Mm -hmm. April or March? March? April. I think it was March. It was March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. March was the last day. It was the Saturday before the, um, Easter Sunday. And so mm -hmm. <laughs> we were going crazy. But mm -hmm. uh, but you went to Double Diamond, which is super exciting. Mm -hmm. And then now the crazy thing is last month, um, what we're going to kind of hit on is you signed 77 loyal customers last month. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you haven't stopped at all and you probably had to change and adjust because you've asked, you've asked those friends and you um, mm -hmm. did that. So how, how did you sign? What do you think were some keys to signing those loyal customers? Well, um, you know, I said I started out with my warm market and eventually I made my way through my whole warm market and you get to a point where you've asked all your friends and family and, and you run out of people. So that's when I had to transition really to messaging strangers and really using social media. Um, so that was a, a little bit of a slower transition for me for business to start coming in. Um, I had been messaging strangers a little bit, but I didn't really concentrate on that much. So it probably wasn't until after I was diamond that I really um, had to move away from my warm market because it was tapped out and move into just messaging. Um, and it take, it took me a while to get to build that up. I mean, it's like, um, you know, if you're not starting out with your warm market and you're just starting out messaging strangers on social media, that takes time. It takes time to, to get your name out there, to get into people's networks, um, to build that credibility. Um, so 
it's it has it's really just been I think this summer that that it's kind of started to change. I've seen uh, noticed a significant change in my business. Um, it's like you you tap into these networks with host to post into other people's networks and and then they really love the coffee and so they're talking to a friend about it and that friend messages you and her girlfriend had been telling her about this coffee who's her girlfriend had been telling her about the coffee and you know it takes time for all that to kind of build up and for those tentacles to spread out and i don't think that really um a lot of people give up before that happens because it is a it's a foundation that you're building and you're um, planting seeds and planting seeds and and it, it takes sometimes months for you to really start reaping those results um, and I think that's what happened I mean on, on top of listening to Daniel and Danielle and um, Tracy's tip from the top mm -hmm. I'm not sure when that was last month, August, the beginning yeah. of last month yeah it was the first one last month so I, I my goal every month was always about 20 if i could enroll 20 customers and including distributors 20 people um then i, I always felt good about that that's what i worked toward um but when i heard danielle and tracy saying that they were hitting 100 it's just kind of that same thing i thought well what are they doing just tell me what to do and i'll i'll do it too and i can get 100 <laughs> you know um you just uh, don't doubt yourself. Whenever you hear other people do it, there's obviously people that are doing it. So why can't you do it? Just right. tell me what to do. And, and if it's working for you, there's no reason that it wouldn't work for me. So right. I just started doing exactly what they said. Yeah. Messaging the coffee host to post. Yep, you did it. You went to your alphabet. You started at A. Um, like in your messenger, you went through and asked everybody to host a post for you. Um, and yeah. then, so you were asking, and then I remember one time you're like, man, I just had seven people come in for this. What do we do? And then we like looked back at what you were posting too. And yeah. so, you know, you're doing the host of post and you're asking, and then what are you posting? Yeah. Uh, because the you gotta have, you've gotta have, have that credibility. So whenever you're messaging these people, they're going to click on your profile to see who you are. And if you're never posting about products, um, you're not uh, selling yourself because whatever's on your Facebook profile, that's, you know, that's going to speak for you because you're not speaking for yourself to these strangers. It's they're looking you up to see what you're all about. And um, that's where your posting is so important. And so if you're not posting as well as messaging, as well as expanding your network, as and well as following up, Tell everybody really quick, Cal, because you are, you have from the beginning, Facebook has been more of your thing. So I know this host of post feels new to everybody and everybody's kind of transitioning back into Facebook, but you have been pretty, that's where you found most of your success from the beginning. Um, besides yeah. asking, like just texting your best friends and your close market that yeah. way, telling them. Um, but uh, how have you, you found a way that you really love to add to your market on Facebook? Yeah, and um, I think it was at Green Carpet. I'm not sure where we were. Um, in Florida, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, and t you and I were talking to somebody, I don't even know who it was, but she was talking about um, how she expands her network. And, you know, I've tried different things and nothing has ever felt um, really successful. Like I've added friends of friends, I had suggested friends, you know, mutual friends. And I always felt like it was, it was always the other network marketers that are friends with everybody that I'm always adding. And it's not, you know, real people that are just, you know, looking to lose weight or something. It's some, somebody else who's trying to sell something. And so it just wasn't a good system. Um, and so I never felt like I was adding a whole lot of people. So this girl suggested to go to Facebook, go to your events, your local events on Facebook, find an event that appeals to you, um, that's going on just right in your area, click interested, and then you can pull up everybody else who is also interested in that same event in your area. And then you're adding people that are just in your neighborhood and people that are in the community around you. And those are real people and that's your neighbors. And, um, so whenever I started doing that and trying to do that every day, adding 20 to 30, you know, as many as I could at a time, just, you know, add, 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 add. Um, 
and and then started messaging those people because I was messaging everybody in my friends list. That's when it started to really pick up. That's when things started to change. Yeah. And that's, I mean, you, you add, so that's an awesome way now too. you have, so we we're kind of covering the core four here, but you have an awesome follow-up system as well. That's been working great for you. So you're asking, so say, you know, Hey, we've been through, I'm like through my list or I'm getting partway through or wherever you are, if you're doing this host to post thing, um, uh, how are you following up? Cause fo that's one thing. That's what you said the other day. Like, Follow-up has honestly, I'm doing the host to post work, but follow-up has been the key to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. How, how are you following up? So this was also, this was from um, Tracy, I think, from the, the method that she talked about. And this was another thing that I, I didn't really have a good system for it. You know, I would write people down um, or try to, you know, keep up with them a messenger when I, the ones that I knew I needed to go back and check with, if they told me, yeah, I get paid next week, maybe I, you know, would put it in my calendar, but it was just all kind of hit or miss. And I'm, people were falling through the cracks all the time. I know I was forgetting people. Um, so I would try to scroll all the way back through messenger to, you know, get back to two weeks past and, and then look through to see, you know, that's kind of what everybody does, but it wasn't a good system it wasn't organized and it wasn't anything that I could keep up with really. So Tracy um, was talking about what she does and it, that was a total game changer. It actually gave me a system that I could stick with. So um, like today is Tuesday. So on Tuesday, she's going to um, follow up with everybody that she messaged two days prior. So like today I went back to everybody that I talked to on Sunday and um, if they told me, um, maybe they didn't answer or maybe they responded to a host of posts that they were interested, they opened my, my initial message that I sent them, but then they never, um, said anything back to me. You know, that happens all the time. So then I, on two days later, after they had done that, then I would send them another message and say, Hey, I'm just checking to see if you're still interested in finding out more about the skinny coffee. And a lot of times people would say, Oh yeah, I just forgot. Yeah. I want to tell me about it. I've, um, forgot to come back and you know, whatever. Or the people that um, said, yeah, I'm going to go to your site tonight. And then they never do. Um, you're just mess. You're giving them 48 hours. So, you know, it's not like you're breathing down their neck um, and just reminding them, you know, Hey, and then this was another thing that I, I don't remember if this was from Tracy or somebody else. Um, but uh, this kind of changed it to it and it was just all in the wording. So whenever somebody would say, um, yeah, I'm interested, but I don't get paid until, um, next Friday. Then you tell you, then your response is, um, great. I'm going to add you to my calendar so I can save a spot for you for next Friday and I'll follow up with you next Friday. So it gives the impression that you have a limited amount of spots, which that's what our message always says, you know, I'm looking for just four people or I have four product tester spots available. So that's just kind of carrying on that um, thought of it's limited, it's exclusive. Um, and she's saving a spot for me. So I better, um, you know, make sure that I'm ready to go on Friday. And then it also, you know, a lot of times people are just real kind of vague about, um, yeah, maybe next week, I can't do it right now, but maybe one day next week. And you, you can't ever pin them down and you hate to say, well, what day next week? Because it, that always just sounds so pushy. Um, but whenever you say, um, well, what, what day are you thinking? Because I'm going to put you in my calendar and I'm going to save you a spot. You, they feel like you're doing them a favor. So they're going to tell you, Oh, I'll get paid on Thursday. Okay. okay. I'll put you in the calendar for Thursday and I'll follow up with you then because I'm holding a spot for you. I love that. But holding a spot. Yeah, it gets an answer out of them every single time because they feel like you're doing them a favor. Okay, so if you've asked them to host a post, or you've done the, uh, do you have a follow up for the initial ask? Like, hey, I have a favor. Don't worry, I'm not going to sell you anything. Do you, do you follow up with any of those guys? Um, once I've, if it's somebody that I've never communicated with. And it's just that initial message of, 
hey, I have a favor and I've, I saw that they opened it and they never responded back to me. I don't message those people again yeah. because I put myself in, in their shoes and think, if I don't know you, I've never talked to you before and you're asking me to do you a favor, you know, sure. they either want to or they don't want to. Right. So because Some of them do. Some people are like, yeah, I yeah. don't know you. Sure, I'll do you a favor. <laughs> yeah. So the ones that don't ever respond to, hey, can you do me a favor? I don't ask, you know, message them again because chances are they're thinking, what? I don't know you. Yeah. So you, you yeah. probably wouldn't get a good response from them anyway. Yeah. No, that's good. Okay. So um, are you still interested in finding out more about the coffee? So you have all your follow-ups. I'll save a spot for you. So um, let's see. What's this question? What is the follow-up message? What is the follow-up message when you say they're, they're going to your website and don't? Um, uh, okay. So that's whenever I'll message them back and just say, um, Hey, Stacy, I'm placing, uh, orders tonight. I'm putting in several orders tonight for skinny coffee and, uh, just wanted to see if I could get yours added. Mm -hmm. And even if they said they'd go to the site, you know, they haven't. So then a lot of times it's, yeah, let me go ahead and give you my information or, no, I'm going to do it tonight whenever I get home. And if they say that, then I'm going to say, okay, I'll hold your spot until tonight. And so that also gives them that urgency of I better do it tonight whenever I get home. Perfect. And um, that's kind of, and we'll have you on, under the post tonight in Diamond Empire. I'll put follow-up messages and you can be specific. <laughs> be specific about which one for which and we everybody can use some of those which is awesome and so we and then also text replacement that's one that was the game changer putting all these scripts and text replacement so i'm not having to copy and paste i'm not having to think of responses you know sometimes you have to because it gets you know a little more detailed or they ask a few more questions um, but for the most part, it's just the same thing. People are going to ask the same questions over and over and you can fly through those messages then. Yeah. And so now you're just doing a lot of following up from going through and adding to your market, um, and moving forward into this season. Um, but I have, so we, I mean, you've gone this far to go, you know, last year at this time, just thinking double promoted not in just one of the fall months, but in two of the fall months, you double from a diamond then, or to Ruby and then to diamond. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what just ending on what advice would you give somebody who's like, okay, it's time, whether you've been in the, y'all, whether you've been in the business, when you decide to do it and to really mm -hmm. do it, not have excuses, but have a business, um, you will make, it might take a little bit of time, but you have to let that time sink in and keep putting forward because all those seeds you're planting are going to be reaped mm -hmm. by somebody. Um, yeah. What advice kind of do you have? Well, you know, believe that you can do it, believe that it's possible. I think that's the biggest thing you see people doing it all around you. I mean, you see our, our leaders doing it. It is possible. Um, and just, know that, you know, if they're doing it, why can't I do it? That was really the mindset that I had. And it was, I mean, what they say, ignorance on fire, but well, Stacy's doing it. And she says, I can do it too. So, and what do I need to do, Stacy? I need to message. Okay. And what else do I, I need to post? Okay. You know, I just did whatever she told me to do. <laughs> That's the bottom line. This is what works. This is the script that works. These are your core four. These are the four important things, you know, five with self-development that you need to do every day. And if you do these things every single day, your business will explode. And that's it. Believe you can and, and do what the successful people tell you to do. Mm -hmm. Because they'll say, I mean, they say that over and over everywhere we are. I was at the women's conference again, um, this, the women of faith last week in my story and uh, Liz and Amanda, and we had such an awesome time, but they said it again. They're like successful people leave clues. I don't know if Cammy was introducing her mom, but they, it's constant. We've heard all these people on these tips from the top, all these top enrollers, and you don't even have to be a top enroller to promote. Um, that's not even what we're talking about, you know, necessarily, but I mean, if you can do it, go for it. Like, why not do it all, you know? But um, they're, they're all messaging somebody. 
Like mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what met them, like it's whether it's a loyal customer message, a DT message, a host to post message, they're all kind of saying we're messaging people. Um, mm -hmm. which again, messaging if it's asking, that's it, they're asking people. So we saw Bess who wanted hair, skin, and nails, and all of a sudden decided to be a distributor and now is a diamond. Um, I you know, you saw, you're hearing Natalie who was asked and six months later, not till six months later, joined the business and is now double diamond. Um, Bess is on her way to double, Natalie's on her way to triple. And so I would say that belief, belief is, you know, you just, there has to be something in there that you're like, I can do this. And then you put the work behind it and you put a combination of those two things and you're going to take off. Um, Tracy, uh, she is using the uh, Tracy's uh, host a post combo mm -hmm. all right there. So that is in Diamond Empire. Um, Can I say one other thing, Stacey? Yep. Just really quick. One thing that was also um, a big changer this past month was that I was also asking the people who told me no, that they weren't, maybe they expressed a little bit of interest in product at first, then it came down to price and no, I'm not interested. I can't afford that. I would ask those people to host a post. Um, if it was um, anybody, anybody that said no, anybody that I had a little bit of a conversation with about any of the products, um, I didn't let anybody off the hook. So no, you're not going to buy from me, but would you at least post on your wall for me? And more than likely, they don't want to tell you no twice. And yeah, I don't, I don't really want to spend 50 bucks, but I could put this on my, you know, my Facebook wall. And so that when you kind of get into that mindset of I'm um, asking every single person to host a post, the networks that you get into are just enormous. I mean, you're reaching so many more people than just, you know, your circle of, whoever your Facebook friends with and asking them to be product testers. You're just reaching so many more people. Yeah, no, it's awesome. So it's there. You just got to do the work. And I think that's it. It's, it's called networking. It is work. It's easy work. Um, but that's what we do to, to continue to move forward in this business. And I believe this team is going to just, blow people away um these next three months um even this next month like i'm like october is our month y'all this is exciting um uh y'all i keep saying y'all because i'm excited i already said that in the beginning but i laugh every time i so here's a side note my canadian self every time i say y'all type y'all i'm like you're canadian but um <laughs> i'm still putting it out there uh but have your eyes and ears on because there's the green carpet this weekend. So I don't know what announcements will be coming out of there, but stuff will be happening. Um, I just wanted to throw this out there because I feel like I'm supposed to. Um, Cindy Pentecost stood on the stage at the, the women's conference I was at this last week, and she just really talked about um, us all knowing who we are and that our true identity um, comes from the Lord. And um, it was just beautiful and refreshing to hear uh, that what we're, what, you know, we're all different ranks. There's a ton of different people sitting here, but one of the things she said when she stood on the stage, and I just have to say this because I feel like I should, she just said, I am a part of this business because I pray people in and I pray people in so that they will know Jesus and that their souls will be saved. And so if you're like on here tonight and you're like, I'm not really sure who I am or who Jesus is, just know part of why you could be invited into this business and why you're doing this business is because there's something so much bigger for you um, to be part of. And I just really wanted to pass that on to y'all because eternity is important and um you know the lord has great things for you and part of that belief doesn't necessarily have to be like i'm believing i'm you know i'm triple promoting this month you know but part of that belief is just knowing man there is value in me. So why not me? Why can't I go after this? Why can't I work from a place of being so loved um, uh, and to move forward? So, okay, hopefully I got that in there and that all made sense. Um, but love you all. 
this is our month, guys. Let's walk. Yeah, it was life changing story. I know just sitting there and hearing people talk about the Lord, it was, uh, and what this business had done for them. Um, but let me pray for y'all. Um, dear Lord, thank you for each and every person that is on this Zoom. Thank you that you love them so much. Um, thank you that we get to be on a team together. What an opportunity. I just sit here sometimes and I'm like, man, the friendships, Lord, that you have given me through this business, through this tool, um, have been life-changing. Um, thank you for just this opportunity that we get to share with other people. A way, um, I even just think about, you know, someone on Natalie's team who got to throw a birthday party for her daughter because of this business. She's a single mom. Um, man, little things like that, that you care about all these little details. It is so amazing. I pray God that you would cross our paths with the people you would have in our businesses on our team so that something incredible could happen. And uh, I just, I'm thankful in your name. We pray. Amen. All right, y'all let's rock this October, Rocktober. Um, if you're not doing host to post, man, we've been talking about it for two, well, actually probably about six months. So you want to hop on and start doing it and um, plug in tomorrow night. If you have new DTs joining, we are going to do a live training on, um, um, I'll be doing a live training on the E-Suite. Uh, so you can plug them into that. Um, keep your eyes and ears open for announcements and everything else. And uh, let's do this.